Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Robert from Cash's Treasures, and I got another video for you today. Today's going to be a short video. I uh, wanted to throw something in here, um, show you some past um, uh, promos, exclusives from the Philly Non Sports Card Show. I know I went over them um, when I do my haul videos, but uh, just a little bit of uh, background and, and uh, you know, kind of looking at them a little bit more of just highlighting these cards uh, plus i wanted to do the uh the giveaway uh from two videos ago i let it run for an additional week just because i wanted to get some more people inside of there get some more people going um so what we're gonna do is is i'm gonna run the uh giveaway real quick and as you knew i had the two card grab bags here's some back here on the end uh, the two pack grab bags that I got, and I wound up getting a million packs of uh, of um, Power Rangers. Uh, so I basically just am giving away everything. Everything that almost was opened in that video is uh, being given away. Um, all of the Power Ranger packs, uh, the open packs of Power Ranger that I won that I did open, um, and everything else like that. I did keep a couple packs out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, basically giving everything else away. And so for that, we have the Wheel of Names over here. And um, so here's everybody that entered in. And I said all you had to use was use the hashtag um, Power Rangers. And you got entered. Just shuffling through here. So we're going to go uh, spin this real quick. Um, and get this going. So let's spin it and see who wins this power pack giveaway. See who the winner is. Oh, MBDJR1 is our lucky winner. Uh, this person is super lucky because I think he won my last giveaway. So he is definitely um, uh, a lucky dude. So, and uh, you see, no cheating, nothing like that. You saw me shuffle it a million times and get it and spin it. And some people are just lucky than others. So I don't win a thing. So this person is definitely lucky than I am. You know how to get in touch with me? Just shoot me up. Uh, shoot me an email. Um, I doubt that anything has changed since the last package went out. But just to be on the safe side, uh, shoot me an email uh, just so we can all be on the same page. And congratulations to the lucky winner. You're going to get that big prize pack. So, okay, let's go back to the cards. And we'll get everything situated, get everything um, looked at here. So, I'm going to go from, um, from newest to oldest um, so this was the um, the latest card set um, there was actually a couple of them for the latest card set so uh, Neil uh, Kamira um, and his daughter Halsey Kamira were there um, so they did a, a garbage pail kid A and B uh, for uh, Neil at night and Haunted Halsey, and they also did a um, an additional card, which was um, a Wacky Packages card. So if, if you look at this card of what's inside of it, you're going to see more like Wacky Packages. You'll see up there, um, you know, inside of here, and different things. Uh, so it wasn't a Garbage Pail Kid, because in the Garbage Pail Kid one, there's, of course, Garbage Pail Kids inside of it. But this is Wacky Packages. There's a little bottle of soda up there. Um, and then going over to the Garbage Pail Kid one, you'll see, you know, Nasty Nick up in there. Um, Dead Ted down here, you know. So. And then, of course, the, the A and B card, the 1B and the 1A. I do not know why I have it in this backwards. Um, I guess I wasn't paying attention, <coughs> but let's flip it over. And of course you'll see wacky packages, promo card, 
Um, these are all officially Topps licensed cards. So they actually work with Topps, get everything licensed, get everything produced. So uh, October 15th and 16th, uh, 2022. And um, the Garbage Pail Kid um, card plus the other Garbage Pail Kid card. Now, for this, um, the one card was only available um, at the dinner. So there's a Saturday night dinner, like I always um, explain. And one of these were only available at the dinner. So the Haunted Halsey was the one that was available at the dinner. So you had to go to the dinner in order to get these two sets. Um, the one was available on Sunday. The other one was available um, on Saturday. And then, of course, you had to get the third one at the dinner. So that's those uh, exclusive ones. And then you had uh, David Acevedo was there. And one card you had to get at the dinner with this as well. Um, so you'll see his um, kind of switching bodies or switching heads, should I say. Uh, Adam Bomb, Nasty Nick. Switching, um, so Adam and Nick. Billy and Eddie. <coughs> so, and on the back, it explains it a little bit more here. Um, Sunday only card and the dinner card. So this, this card, a dinner card, you can only get at the Saturday night's dinner. The Sunday only card was the card that you got during um, Sunday. An awesome card, autographed. All of these are going to be autographed by the artist. So... Then we have the um, Adam Bomb, uh, which was uh, Sam Grass, was graciously. <coughs> Ooh, my allergies are killing me today. Sam Grass graciously appears as Adam Bomb. And these cards were done by Chris Meeks. Uh, Chris Meeks' autograph in gold on these cards. And you have a A and a B card. And uh, art by Chris Meeks, costume by Sam Grass. And this was a Monday, um, a Saturday and a Sunday card. Uh, these ones weren't the uh, dinner cards for this, uh, for that one. So awesome cards for that set. And then you have um, David Gross. And Smoke and Joe. Now, this was the first um, show that was done after COVID. And that's playing on the 35th plus one uh, anniversary. Um, these were supposed to be done for the Garbage Pail Kids 35th anniversary. But unfortunately, we didn't have a show for the 35th anniversary of Garbage Pail Kids. So they did the 35th plus one. So you'll see 35 plus 1, David Gross and Smokin' Joe. And these have the wanted posters on the back of these. Uh, so these are definitely like true uh, Garbage Pail Kid cards. Um, not having the Philly Sports Card Show promotion. So these were super interesting. The fact that they put it on the top like they do for all of their promo cards but it doesn't have the philly card show uh promotion on the back of them so but and then this was one of the very first shows this was uh brent enstrom and joe simcoe i don't have these autographed i was stupid and didn't get them autographed i don't understand why i didn't get them autographed but these were two cards that were given away at the meet and greet. This was the last show that they did in Allentown, Pennsylvania in 2019, right before the pandemic, the October 2019 show, because, of course, uh, everything kind of shut down in March of 2020. So they have the shows October and May, so October was the last show in Allentown. They went to try to do the show in Allentown um, for May, 
everything was shut down, had to cancel the show, canceled a couple shows after that. Um, the October show in 2020, then going into the 2021 shows, uh, were canceled. So, and then Allentown wind up, uh, canceling that venue. Um, I don't even think it's a place anymore. They went out, of they closed down the entire, um, mall area that was done. Um, Merchantville Mall. They closed that completely down. So the Philly Non-Sports Card Show had to find a new venue. And when they did find a new venue, they got it at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, Pennsylvania, which is beautiful because Oaks, Pennsylvania, from where I live in New Jersey, is only about a 45-minute drive, 45, 50 minutes, where Allentown was, uh, you know, like a one-hour one hour plus drive for me. So it was great for them to be a little bit closer to me and, you know, just a tremendous uh, show. So um, as it gets closer, of course, we will be doing show prep. We will be showing off what we're taking to the show. Um, there will be quite a few great artists uh, there again. Um, David Gross and Smoke and Joe are coming back around uh, to do this show. Uh, so I will be seeing those fine gentlemen again. Um, I will be get, getting some more autographs from both of those gentlemen. Um, a lot of those autographs will be going into the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, um, along with uh, some other autographs, some great sets. Um, it's going to be a great giveaway if you like um, autographed and custom stuff. So... Um, it's going to be a decent, um, decent, decent show. Always is. Love everybody that goes. I'm going to be there both days plus the dinner. Stop me. Say hello. I'm going to be giving away pins. Uh, Garbage Pail Kid pins. I'm going to be giving away Cassius Treasures pins. Um, I'm going to be, you know, giving away kid packs. Uh, Garbage Pail Kid kid packs for the young ones that are running around just to spread the love spread the joy of garbage pail kids and non-sports cards um i'm gonna be on the lookout for a lot of odd and unusual stuff this time um my goal for this show is going to be more non-sports cards uh just because i am there's a there's a bunch of stuff that i'm looking for some odd stuff some stuff you don't see all the time, and that's what I'm really looking for. So I'll do a haul video when I get back, of course, from that show, and then I'll do a breakout video of a lot of the stuff that I got. Um, so I just wanted to give a little breakdown. Of course, the short video has now turned into almost 14 minutes, um, so I feel like Retro Hero trying to get a short video, and it's 45 minutes long now. So love you, buddy. But if you like this uh, type of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already to get into that 100. 100, 100 was a long time ago. That 1,000 subscriber giveaway, um, it's going to be epic. Um, so definitely subscribe if you're not already. Tell your friends to subscribe, uh, even if they're, they're not super into it. That gives you another chance. Insider tip. Um, but... <laughs> Share the video as well for anybody that does love non-sports cards. And always remember, have fun.